Hi guys, I'm here to do a movie review of Disney's live action The Jungle Book. I recently saw it on, I think it was Saturday. I have seen it twice. I was not disappointed with this movie at all. I was blown away by the visuals, the actors, the CGI was phenomenal. It was amazing. Um, you didn't feel at all like there were moments you left the movie because CGI was just lacking. It didn't lack. It was actually very, very good. I never left the jungle at all. So, that being said, for anyone that says that the CGI was bad, then... The, I don't know how to say it. it I, I, that's just their opinion. Because I thought it was magnificent. It was really good CGI. I've seen worse in superhero movies. I think Disney took this one to heart. I think they were... How do I say this right? They really wanted this one to blow its audience away. And for me, it did that. It really did. I did think I would have a problem with Bill Murray as Baloo, but I try to reserve all judgment until I see them as the actual character, and I have to say he was a good Baloo. He really was. I had my doubts about him, and they were wrong. Thank you for proving me wrong. Thank you. Idris Elba, I think that's how you pronounce his name, he played Shere Khan. He was really good as Shere Khan. He was really good also. Um, Christopher Walken as King Louis. He... He was, he was good in the part. I... I don't necessarily have a complaint with him. It's just... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, so I'll just move on till I can. Uh, they did have all the original, not all, they were missing one song from the original animated movie Disney had, and it was the one the vultures sing, but that was it. They had King Louie's song and Blues in the movie. Um, Bill Murray, I thought, did really well with that song. Uh, they did change a little from the animated movie, but, I mean, that's to be expected. It's a remake. A live action remake. What they changed, I thought, really added to the story a lot. Mowgli wasn't a... I, sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out how to say this right. He, he in the live action ver version, he volunteered to leave so he wouldn't get his family of wolves hurt or killed. They didn't force him to go. But they were um, talking about, I guess, banishing him to the man village. But it didn't make it to that because Mowgli volunteered to leave. And Bagheera said he would take him. The mom wolf didn't want him to leave at all. And on the way to the man village, Shere Khan tries to attack Mowgli and kill him, but Bagheera stops him, and that's where the jungle adventure begins. Um, sorry guys, I'm losing track of what I'm talking about. Sorry. Um, the movie, I will give a 10 out of 10. That's how good it was. It was absolutely great. There is one thing that whenever um, Mowgli meets Ka, I'd say she is only in there for maybe a maximum of seven minutes. Maximum, might be a little, little less, maybe a tad bit more, but I wouldn't say more than seven minutes. I thought it was a waste of a perfectly good character they could have had throughout the movie. Um, I don't know how else to explain that. I mean, they had a big, name actress play play call 
but she was only in it for a short amount of time, and that's what I had a problem with. But other than that, I had no problem at all. I I wanted more of Ka, and I didn't get that. But I also understand why it is a kids movie. They have a certain runtime this can't exceed, or they're gonna lose the kids' uh, attention. But for the older audience who grew up watching the animated feature film from Disney, you won't be disappointed. Um, like I said, you'll probably want a little more con there, but sorry. Um, I also found myself wanting more, but what are you going to do? And Mowgli, sorry, I'm going to do some spoilers in order to give a full review. Mowgli actually goes to the man village for to get fire to fight Shere Khan after he finds out that Shere Khan killed his wolf father, Akela, which they changed from the animated feature film. Akela in the animated version was not his father, he was just the pack leader. Rama was the father. But in the live action one, they changed it to Akela, and I don't know if Rama's just not existing in this one, or if he was just a unnamed minor character. But the mom and the baby wolves are still in there. Um, in the beginning of the movie, it shows um, Akila being upset with Mowgli because he uses his tricks, which is like he, Mowgli creates a bowl to gather water from a river so he can drink it because he doesn't drink like the wolves do. But Akila tells him, no, you don't use your man tricks. So he has Mowgli dump the bowl out and not use it again. And that's where Shere Khan enters. Because they were at this river and Shere Khan, um, I'm going to say he's thirsty or he wouldn't be there. He helps himself to some water and then he makes his way over to Mowgli where he says, There's a strange odor in the jungle today. And he says it smells like man cub. Where all the other wolves um, surround Mowgli and try to protect him. Specifically the mother. Um, and Shere Khan makes a threat saying once the water truce ends that there will be a whole bunch of other problems. I can't really remember what they were talking about. That's when my... Anyway, um, Shere Khan made a threat, and that's what made the wolves talk about sending Mowgli back to the man village. And Shere Khan, after they start Mowgli on his journey to the man village, Shere Khan comes back to Akila's pack, and Akila tells Shere Khan, we no longer have a threat. We no longer have a problem. He and Shere Khan can be at peace. But Shere Khan doesn't like this, so he kills Akila and throws him off the, I'm going to say like a mountain. I'm not really sure you can figure it out when you see the movie. But it does kill him. And Mowgli doesn't find out till later in the film. And Bagheera doesn't show back up till after Baloo is introduced. Um, Baloo. I have a lot of good things to talk about Baloo. I thought Bill Murray did a great job as Baloo. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts. Um... Baloo actually saves Mowgli from Ka in the one scene that she's in. Because she was going to eat Mowgli and Baloo saved him. And as repayment for this, Baloo asks Mowgli, can you go get me some honey? And that's how the story is progressing along. trying to 
think of what else I can talk about. It's... Because I don't want to tell you all the whole story. I know you don't want that. I mean, you're going to want to go see it yourself. But in order for me to do a thorough review, I'm going to have to tell you what I like and don't like. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to limit here. Um, the elephants. Colonel Hardy and his son were in it. But they were unnamed. But you knew who they were if you've seen the cartoon. Um, Mowgli saves the sun from a big hole. Um, the elephants, I believe, are in it for two different scenes. I'd say for maybe 10, 20 seconds each scene. Maybe a little bit longer on the last one. And then, like, they didn't... In the animated film, he went back to the man village. He didn't go back to the jungle. But in this one, he does stay in the jungle. He does not go to man to the man's... Man village. Sorry, I lost the word there. Um... There was one scene I was really, really happy with. And that's when Baloo and Mowgli are in the river. Because that's a straight from the animated film when they're singing Bare Necessities and they sing it in the live action version in that same scene. That really made me happy. It really made me nostalgic. Made me want to go home and watch the animated film. And then the live action one again. <laughs> like some sort of endless cycle. <laughs> and I left the theater wanting to see this movie again. That is how good this movie is. I think it truly deserves for you all to go see it in theaters. I think the acting is really great, especially for an eight-year-old kid who had almost nothing to work with but a blue screen, a green screen, and some props. Um... Neil Seeley, I think his name is? I'm not exactly sure. I'll look that up later, but you know who I'm talking about. It's the guy that plays Mowgli. I thought he, he, for an un... for a new actor to play this character, a unknown, as I'm going to say, I think they made a good choice with that. Because otherwise, I think the film would have just come off like they were trying to get a money grab. Which I, I'm sure some people still think that with all the A-list actors they have in it. But it is not. Disney really took this one to heart. And they wanted to make people feel good when they watched it. They wanted them to be nostalgic. They wanted them to want to see it again and buy it. And they didn't want to disappoint which I think we can thank John Favreau for that, the director. He did a great job. I mean, really a great job. Um, it's hard to appease fans that not only read the books, but watch the animated feature film from 67, and then go into the theater to see this and not be disappointed. And he did that. He captured that. I wasn't disappointed in the slightest. He did such a great job. Um, I know Warner Brothers is working on their own Jungle Book. I have my doubts about that one now because I don't think it will surpass Disney's live action Jungle Book. I don't. But if it does, good. Good on them. But... I'm going to have a lot of trouble trying to figure out which one I like more. Is it the one that makes me really nostalgic, or is it the one that has more science-backed up reasoning without the talking animals? Like, more logical than it is fantasy. Honestly, I'm probably going to lean more towards the fantasy aspect of what these different companies bring to the screen. Like the difference between um, Snow White and the Huntsman and Disney Snow White. That's what I mean. I think that's what the two different Jungle Book movies will be like. More this than fantasy or 
I don't know if I'm wording this right, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, I thought the animal animation and CGI was great. Not just the jungle itself, but the animals. They came, they lit up the jungle. They made it come alive. You didn't leave the jungle for even a second. You, I didn't feel like I left the jungles of India. I felt like I was there. And that is a good thing, especially when you have an all CG movie besides this one main character, Mowgli. Um, I'm sure there will be a lot of people complaining that it was just some sort of money grab, some, the, it was unnecessary, it was this or it was that, but it's not a point to whether it's necessary or not, it's whether it, it's whether or not the f film makes you feel like you did when you saw the original or when you just read the book. Because, I mean, all movies are money grabs. I mean, duh, they're, they need to get their money back. By that logic, I mean... And people are just saying that these live action remakes are really big cash grabs. I'm like, or maybe they just want a live action movie to give people. And they really genuinely want these fans to like this movie. And I watched one review on this movie already where they said if Walt Disney were here today he would be very proud of this movie, and I completely agree with that. He would be. This movie felt like Walt Disney watched over it, if that makes sense. Like, he was there when they made this movie. And that is a great thing to have, especially in a nostalgic Disney movie that they are bringing to life in the best of ways. Um, a lot of people were complaining about the accents. I didn't have a problem with the accents. Uh, the characters had accents in the cartoon also, like Bagheera um, and Shere Khan. That didn't bother me. A lot of people were complaining that the animals talked. Well, maybe it's not that they're... I might be going into this too much. I mean, they did talk. But if you think of it, we're seeing it from Mowgli's point of view, who grew up his... He grew up in the jungle his entire life. So, just like how we learn language, could he not learn to speak with animals and understand them? And if we're seeing it from his point of view, then we're hearing what he's hearing and we're understanding it and processing it like he would. So it's not necessarily that they're talking, but that they are speaking, I guess, animal, and he just understands it, and it's project projected through his ears as this so we can understand it. If you think about it that way, then it's really not unrealistic. Although it's still a Disney movie, so I might sound a little crazy. Nah. Anyway, back on point here. This movie, I think, sits at a runtime of an hour and 33 minutes. For From the start of the movie to the end before the credits. I thought... Honestly, they could have made that movie longer, and all it would have done is made me love it more. Um, they did change King Louie. He's not a orangutan. He's a extinct breed of ape. I can't remember the name of it. It's long and sounds weird. But anyway, I thought that was a good decision to make. I like that decision very much. Um, King Louie did sing his song, I Want to Be Like You. If you watch the original Disney masterpiece, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, you're probably going to be a little com confused, and if that's the case, pause this, open up a new tab, look it up, you'll know what I mean. Um, I think Christo Christopher Walken did really good with that song. I'm not going to say it sounded like the original. I mean, the beat and stuff did, but the way he sang it didn't seem... It wasn't the same, but it's still made me very nostalgic. I think this movie will do very, very well in theaters. And I think it'll be really hard for 
for it not to do well. I mean, I think it's released in India already. I know it's being... I, I'm not sure what the reviews are over there, but I know here, I think it's going to do really well. Um... Trying to think of what else I could review about. Um, I already mentioned the animals looked really good, really great. Um, there's one scene where there's a stampede of horned things. I I don't know their name. I'm sorry. And Mowgli grabs onto one of them to escape from Shere Khan. That scene was done very very well. Um, because Mowgli had to interact with the animals as if they were, as if he was in danger of getting hit by them. And I'm sure that was really hard to do. Um, I know they changed uh, Shere Khan's um, face from the original. In the live action, he, his eye is bad. He has one side of his face that's bad from where man used fire on him. And that's his reasoning behind Mowgli. Um, because Mowgli was this man's son, and Shere Khan killed Mowgli's human father, and Bagheera found Mowgli in the forest. And that's Shere Khan's reasoning behind wanting to kill Mowgli. Um, what else was there? There was one scene where Baloo and various other animals and Mowgli made this um, system to retrieve honey from bees. And that was another man trick. I thought that scene was done very well because it didn't, it didn't look artificial. It looked like it belonged there. Which is pretty hard to do when you're making a movie to make something look like it authentically could be in the jungle. What? What else was there? There at the end of the movie there's this one scene, well one major scene, it's the whole end of the movie where after Mowgli goes to the man village and gets some fire from a torch, he carries the torch through the jungle. And some of the sparks from it fly off and hit the ground. And everything starts to catch on fire in a trail behind him. And then it surrounds everybody. And that's when the fight with Shere Khan and Mowgli and the other animals happen. That looked really good too. That was one of my favorite scenes because of how it looked. That and the animals were probably one of the best parts of this movie because of how great they looked. None of the acting was bad at all. I thought the acting was great. So, I definitely think my overall uh, grade for this movie is an A+. Or a 10 out of 10. Um, you all watch it when it comes out Friday. And be sure to come back here, comment, let me know what you think about it. If you agree with any of the points I said, if you disagree, just don't be mean. I don't like mean. You be nice to me, I'll be nice to you. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to end the review right here. And like my last one, if there's more I think of, I will post another video about it. So... Thank you for watching. Please click subscribe under this video and click like. And thank you for watching.